All right, today we're gonna be talking about wood bleach. I'm gonna show you the results of a kind of uh, experiment that I've done. And to start, I'm using wood bleach from Zinser. This is uh, a product that is known to be a little bit more aggressive. It, it works a little better than some of the other salicylic acid bleaches. Um, you apply one to the wood, as far as Zinser is concerned, let it dry for five or 10 minutes, and then you apply the B part um, right to the wood, same surface. So. I just wanted to show you the results of that on my um, cottonwood bark carvings as well as my birch carving represented here. So the first one I wanted to show you is the worst case scenario. So this is Plains Cottonwood and I hope it's showing up in this uh, really sunny frame here. But you can see there's a reddish tone to the hair and the face almost has this gray, green, yellow tone to it and it's not great it's not appealing you know if you look at it next to white you can see just how green it is um, so I would not recommend unless you're really into that color especially on a portrait I would not recommend using this kind of greenish tone and of course if you're thinking why didn't you do it on a test piece first <laughs> well it's because I did not know this was a possible outcome always test I was a dummy always test on wood before you um, try it on a nice carving right this is kind of kind of sad right i'm sure with some sanding and some clear coat it won't look quite as terrible but uh, it's a little bit of a bummer i like the contrast i just don't like the um you know i just don't like the end result there of that green color all right so this is kind of an interesting thing on a uh eastern cottonwood tree it really shows up nicely it really brightened up the wood um i like the effect that that has had on the carving um, you can see it's about a shade lighter maybe two shades lighter than the uh, the cottonwood bark below it. It's not yellow. It's not green. It's just kind of a lighter version of what the wood already is. So lesson learned there. Always do a test piece before you work to your fancy carvings. This was another experiment. Um, I was trying to see if this would remove the staining from the piece and uh, it didn't really remove the staining. Of course, it lightened the, the face. You can see it's considerably lighter than the rest of the carving, which is pretty cool, uh, but it didn't do a whole lot to lighten up uh, you know, to kind of remove any staining, which is to be expected. It would kind of bring the whole level of the piece down a shade, including the stains. So the stains are still visible. Maybe given a few more coats, it might reduce some of the staining if I especially focus on them. I'm going to work on that. Um, but unless you're really doing that, it's probably not going to remove the stains in your piece. So in conclusion, um, as I mentioned, I would definitely use the two-part bleaches. Zinser's product seems to be great. I wouldn't use it on cottonwood bark unless you've got Eastern Plains, kind of that orangish toned light cottonwood bark. Um, and oxalic acid, as far as I'm concerned, uh, doesn't do quite as much. Uh, it's supposed to remove stains, water spots. Um, it doesn't seem to do that. In fact, I did try the oxalic acid on the wood before I used the wood bleach and it was there was no notable, notable difference. So um, I would stick to the uh, two-part bleaches I believe these have peroxide and God knows what else, all kinds of things. So use gloves when you're applying the finish and uh, don't put it on your um, Plains Cottonwood. All right, thanks for watching guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed learning from my mistakes and my successes per usual. See you in the next one. Say bye. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs>